Once, with the help of a 100-ton hydraulic press, we tested the strength of a Soviet sledgehammer and a sledgehammer from the Dollar Tree. The Chinese sledgehammer began to give up with a load of 50 tons. The Soviet one, however, withstood the entire 100-ton load applied. Despite approximately the same weight and shape, they behave very differently. Today, we will test the strength of two small anvils. One of them is Soviet. Its condition is satisfactory. By the way, this inscription, CTF, stands for Chelyabinsk Tool Factory. Therefore, this anvil has every chance to survive a 100-ton load. You can see that it was probably used instead of a hammer. Confirmation of this is this scratch. And we have Anvil from AliExpress. Here, the casting quality immediately catches one's eye. Or rather, the absence of this very quality. You can see a large number of craters and pores. By the way, there is a high probability that this anvil is Chinese. It may be made not of steel, but of cast iron. The Chinese often like to make something like this out of cast iron, where steel should be used. Here, for clarity, how they look next to each other. The Soviet anvil is smaller in size and weight. Now we will check how much they will withstand a load of 100 tons. Before the start of the press, we measure the height of each anvil. A Chinese anvil with a height of 55 millimeters. It began to deform at a load of 50 tons. With a high probability, we can say that it was definitely not cast iron. Since cast iron would crack under such a load, and here we saw plastic deformation. It's either some very low-grade steel or iron. As expected, this anvil received the most serious damage where it has the thinnest place. Now, let's see how much the height of this anvil has changed. So, its height has changed by 15 millimeters. It has shrunk. Now it's the turn of the Soviet anvil. Its height is 40 millimeters. It seems that the Soviet anvil withstood all the applied 100 load. It can be seen that, after all, it received some minimal deformations in its thinnest place, as evidenced by the discolored coloring. But on the other hand, with the help of the press, it was possible to level its upper surface on which there was a bully. How much has the height decreased? And its height has decreased by one millimeter. Well, this is a very good indicator, considering that the height of the Chinese anvil has decreased by 15 millimeters.
Now these two anvils have the same height. In this video, we clearly saw what it means when two objects seemingly are made of identical iron. It's actually interesting how much this iron can differ in quality from the other one. You never